Hey, this is going to be very interesting. Uh, the first ever private moon tourist is scheduled to go to the moon, or at least to fly around it. The tourist is going to be Japanese billionaire Yusaku Maezawa. The company taking him there is SpaceX, and it's expected to happen in the year 2023. Maezawa's plan is to take six to eight artists from around the world on what's going to be a week-long round trip. They will go to the moon, maybe do a lap or two around the moon, and then come back to Earth. I actually think it would be better to take mostly flat earthers and conspiracy theorists who believe we never landed on the moon, maybe there would still be some visible evidence of the fact that, that we went to the moon, rather than artists, it might be more useful. SpaceX's CEO Elon Musk is, of course, the guy who is simultaneously in charge of the more and more beleaguered Tesla, which we've been talking about, as I spoke about on the bonus show. Uh, late last week, earlier this week, late last week it was, uh, I have gotten rid of half of my shares of Tesla. Won't go into that in detail here, but talked about that on, uh, on the bonus show. And the plan, according to Musk, is to go back to the moon for the first time in 50 years using a BFR. That's a big Falcon rocket. That's what's been developed by SpaceX. It's 35 stories tall. It can take off and land like SpaceX, uh, the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket, but instead of being set up to carry just satellites, it can carry dozens of people. How much did Maizawa pay for this privilege? Elon Musk isn't saying, other than to say it's, quote, very significant, which sounds about right. Exciting time to be alive. This could either be the plot of a mediocre sci-fi book, a billionaire, and eight of the world's most eccentric artists are going to be locked up in tight confines for a week-long trip, or it actually could be something absolutely fascinating for the future of space travel and uh, not, not to burst bubbles. Um, people seem a little bit confused about this. I, I want to just say this again because I know that in the comments people are going to misunderstand. They are not landing on the moon. They're going to the moon, presumably entering orbit around the moon, one or two laps around, unclear, and then they are coming back to Earth. So it's more of a flyby, but still extraordinarily interesting. And from a science angle, I've been saying for a while that we should go back to the moon, both in terms of what is being done here, but actually landing on the moon. It's been so long since we did that. Space travel technology has advanced so much. We are talking about going to Mars and to points that are even further. Why not use the relatively close by moon as a uh, training ground for the types of technology that we would want to use to go elsewhere. There's, the counterpoint to that is often the amount that it costs to do that is so huge that we're better off just putting that money into developing better technology to go directly to Mars or directly somewhere else. I, I disagree. I think that the potential benefit of going back to the moon with 50 year newer technology than what we had during the late 60s could be hugely beneficial uh, and my question to you today is, do you care about this stuff? I know that there are some people in our audience who are very interested in what's going on with space travel, NASA, SpaceX, but every time, and Mars, every time I talk about it, particularly Mars, I will get some angry voicemails from some of the normal trolls, but also from other people who don't often get in touch, who say, David, this is not a good use of money. This is not interesting. It is dangerous to constantly talk about going elsewhere and humanity going elsewhere because it excuses continuing to destroy the planet and makes excuses for not fixing the climate change issues that we are dealing with. So I don't want you talking about space travel and space exploration. That is not my point of view, but I do want to hear from you. Let me know.